Qur'an obey till Maqdis. The hadith begins with Jerusalem. That when Baytul Maqdis or Jerusalem is Umran, it's built up, it's flourishing, it is in a state of ascendancy, it's rising. Kharabu Yatrib. At that time, look to see Medina in ruins. In the state of forlorn desolation, going down. This one going up, that one going down. When that happens, then the next great event that will take place in the world would be the Malhama. Malhama is what the Christians refer to as Armageddon. The great, great, great war. The big war. The war of all wars. Now, we therefore begin with Jerusalem. And we have to look to see Jerusalem rising. The Jews had been expelled. They had been exi in exile for 2,000 years. And then, stage one, Jerusalem is conquered. For them, it was liberated. Stage two, the Jews come back to reclaim Jerusalem as their own. It's rising, isn't it? It's rising. Stage three, a state of Israel is restored in the Holy Land. It's rising. And now, the rest of us know that Israel controls the United States Congress. And any American president that steps out of line, like John F. Kennedy, you know what happens to them. And any French president who even begins to speak about removing the sanctions on Russia, as the French president just spoke a few days ago. You know how they respond, don't you? You know how they respond, don't you? So this is evidence that Jerusalem is not only rising and ascending, it's way up. How much further must it go up? Must Israel replace the United States as the next ruling state in the world? Must Pax Judaica replace Pax Americana as Pax Americana had replaced Pax Britannica? Before the stage is set, we know that Medina is in ruins today. We don't have to wait for ISIS, the bogus outfit created by the CIA and the Israeli Mossad and financed and armed by Karnu Shaitan because that's how the Prophet referred to the leaders of Saudi Arabia, Karnu Shaitan. And I say to them, as you should also say to them, you can kill a man, but you cannot kill the truth. So we must speak fearlessly and put our trust with Allah. Medina is in ruins. We don't have to wait for ISIS 
to take over Damascus and then to march down to Marina to destroy it. <laughs> How much longer do we have to wait? We know that when the Malhama takes place or Armageddon, that it is going to be a war like no other war has ever been. And in a short while, we will know who are those who will fight in this war. And we will also know that it's going to be nuclear war. Oh yes. Because there's another hadith coming. Nabi Muhammad والسلام, is giving us information and we are sleeping on it. We know that birds flying in the sky will fall down when the Malhama takes place. Because perhaps you can no longer navigate. There is too much contamination in the atmosphere, or should I use the word radiation, which is consistent with nuclear explosions. Hmm? 